Aleluya. Glory to God. Why you? I trust in you. Oh Lord, you. I trust in you. I believe, I believe. I trust in you. Oh Lord, I trust. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I believe. Welcome, welcome. God bless you so much. We want to start our Bible study. Karibu sana. Wherever you are watching from, welcome. God bless you so much. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome. Wherever you are watching us from, God bless you. Remember our topic today is wisdom to overcome crisis. Wisdom to overcome crisis. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Glory to God. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. Invite a friend. Invite a friend. You can share. We are looking for in a topic that I'm calling wisdom to overcome crisis. Wisdom to overcome crisis. Wherever you are watching from, Karibu sana, Karibu sana, God bless you. Rekata Ramashede Mayando, Robo Shatara Bayando, Leko Zatara Bahande, Rebo Zoto Rikaya, Repose Yamakota Rabazete Ribahanda. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Wisdom to overcome crisis. Wisdom to overcome crisis. Whatever you are watching from, Karibu sana. Wherever you are, you are watching from, Karibu sana, man of God. Wisdom to overcome crisis. Wisdom to overcome crisis. At this season, we have so many crises. Uh, our topic is wisdom to overcome crisis. What will we do? Uh, because crisis has come. What, what, what will the nation do? What will, will the church do? Uh, tulikutana na mtugaji mwingine akaniambia sasa mtugaji nitafunga kanisa i want us to look about the details on what we will do uh, at this time what we will do uh, during this crisis and i am believing god um, there must be a solution there is must be a way out oh yes lord makota raba shete ribayando yes jesus yes jesus yes jesus yes jesus Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wherever you are watching us from, welcome, welcome, welcome to our Bible study today. I'll be very precise. Uh, talking about wisdom to overcome crisis, wisdom to overcome uh, situations when they, they come, or wisdom to overcome things uh, anytime that this situation or a certain crisis uh, comes to our nation. What do we do as a nation? What do we do as people of God? Um, that is what I want us to look about today in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Um, Wisdom to overcome crisis. Wisdom to overcome crisis. But I want us to start uh, with a word of prayer. With a word of prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you because you are faithful. We thank you because you are the Lord and you change is not. We bless you because you are faithful. There is no other God who is like you. There is no other father who is like you. You told us to call you our father. 
because you cater for everything that we need them. You are our provider. You are our protector. You are our 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 Lord, and you change us not. We bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, and we bless you in Jesus' name. Welcome, our viewer. Wherever you are watching us from, welcome. Uh, I can see see my friends from UK. May God bless you so much. Thank you for coming. And uh, I am believing God that He is doing a new thing um, in our lives today in the name of Jesus. Um, uh, I want us to look um, uh, in a topic that I am calling um, uh, wisdom to overcome crisis. Wisdom to overcome crisis. You know, uh, when crisis comes, sometimes it gets us off guard. No one prepares for a crisis. No one prepares for a crisis. No one prepares for a crisis. And let me tell you, what will you do when crisis come? I want you to look for, for a place to light because it is Bible study. It's not a, a, a sermon. It is a Bible study. I want us to, to write some things, um, to, to read in details, to read in details a bit um, so that we can understand um, how, what to do in times of crisis. What do we do in times when we have situations like the one that we have today? What do we do? Uh, the churches are closed. Some businesses are closed. There is no movement. Uh, our, our economy is going down. Everybody is crying. Uh, you have bills to get. Uh, some, like, like us, we are pastors. Some of us has hired lad. Some as, of us has hired some presses. Uh, what do you do when such crisis comes? You, you need to cater for the bills. Uh, za nyumba yako ile kazi ulikuwa unafanya hakuna kazi sasa whatever you are doing maybe uh, you, 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 you ulikuwa unategemea uh, kitu kama biashara yako ulikuwa unategemea uh, kitu kama kanisa uh, the press of finances has now been limited some of the presses has been closed you need to cater for the, the bills the house bills you need to to eat the children need to eat you need to cater for for rent you need to cater for for church uh, you need to cater for for the the, the basic needs of a, of a of a human being that you cannot do without them i want us to look at in details and uh, what we are supposed to do as christians what are we supposed to do with the reference to the word of God? Because whatever happens in the world, I believe the solution is in the word of God. Na mini ya kwamba solution ya chochote ya bacho tunatafuta, chochote tunaomba it is in the word of God. Remember our topic today is wisdom to overcome crisis. Wisdom to overcome crisis. For those who are writing, write wisdom to overcome crisis. And I'm talking to about the situation that we are in today. We will not continue singing Corona, Corona, and other things. Can we talk something? Can we talk business now? What do we do? Because this thing is real. And I, and I was saying on, on last Sunday, if you go to the, to the sermon of the last Sunday morning, I was saying three things that you have, you must do first. Number one, you have to accept. That is the way it is. You must accept. That is the reality. Any time that you lose something like job, any time that you, 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 you meet yourself in the certain in a situation that you are in today, today, there are even men of God who are not believing that uh, the government has closed the churches, has called, closed the buildings, not the churches, but the building where we, we, we fellowship together. But let me tell you this, the first thing that you have to do is to accept that is the, the reality. Then what do you do after accepting? Number two is you adjust yourself. Adjustment. If you used to misuse some money, if you used to do uh, uh, some, some unnecessary transport, unnecessary uses of, usage of money, you, you adjust yourself. Um, and uh, the last thing, thing that you have to do is to advance because the life must continue. Lazima maisha itaenderea. You must advance. Uh, but I want us to go in a precise or in details uh, on what we have to do and what as a Christian what are the measures that we have to do and what are the things 
And has the Bible talked about this? Did Jesus really speak about whatever we are passing through and what is the way out? Tunaeza toka aje kwa crisis kama hizi. And one of the things I want first to define what is crisis. I want to define what is crisis. Welcome Daniel for watching. Everybody who is watching Karibuni Sana. Uh, look for somewhere to write. It is Bible study. It's not preaching. It is Bible study. I want us to, to look for some things. This is a, a, a food of thought. It is a word it is a food of thought that you have to think uh, uh, on the things on how to come out. We we don't need to cry foul. Hatu tariya kwa mana We have to move forward. We have to move on. And uh, I want to first to define what is crisis. I want to define what is crisis. Uh, and uh, I, I, I will go through for those who are writing. Uh, uh, that is, crisis is an event. Crisis is an event, circumstance, or a situation. It is an event, a circumstance, or a situation affecting you or your environment over which you have no direct cause, control, or responsibility of which you don't have uh, uh, you, you don't have direct cause, control, or responsibility. In short, it is an event that you don't have control over. It is an event that you don't have control over. Crisis causes the following. These are the things that are caused by crisis. One, fear. Two, trauma. Three, depression. Four, hopelessness. Five, despair. Sense of death. Worries. Domestic violence. I saw it yesterday, even in the news, that uh, nowadays, since uh, 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 the crisis started, there, is, there have been a lot of demo domestic violence. There is abandonment. You, 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 people are, are, are being abandoned. Uh, there is frustrations. There is loneliness. There is an anxiety. There is a sense of how I will survive. There are such, such things that has come already those are the things that has come they are uh, the things that erupts after the crisis once a uh, crisis kama hii metokezea once kitu kama hii metokezea these are the things that uh, comes but i want you to understand i want us to go to the word of god and uh, i want us to look uh, uh, to the bible i want to base my my teachings today uh, from the word of God or from the Bible in the book of Ecclesiastics in the book of Ecclesiastics chapter 3 Ecclesiastics chapter 3 Ecclesiastics chapter 3 and I'm reading from verses 1 I'm reading from verses 1 the Bible says to everything there is a season and a time and to everything purpose under the heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck, a to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, a time to build up, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn. A time to dance, a time to cast a stone, a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, a time to refrain, a time from embracing, a time to get, a time to lose, a time to, cook, to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to read, a time to sue, a time to keep silent, and a time to speak. A time to love, a time to hate, a time of war, a time of peace. The Bible says in the book of um, uh, Genesis chapter 8 verses 22, Genesis chapter 8 verses 22, the Bible says uh, that 
where the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest remaineth also. Where the earth remaineth, seed time, the harvest, and the cold, the heat, the summer, the winter, the day and night shall not cease. That is the reality. That is the truth. It is not a fact. It is the truth. As long as earth remains, there is seed time and harvest. There is a time of sun, there is a time, there is a season of harvest. As long as time remains, there must be those things. There must be those things in our lives. Let me tell you this. I want you to understand these three things about crisis. I want you to understand three, these three things about crisis. One, nothing is permanent. Hallelujah. Nothing is permanent apart from God and his promises. Nothing is permanent apart from God and his promises. I want you to understand that. Nothing is permanent apart from God and his promises. Number two. God promises nothing is permanent. God has promised nothing is permanent. God has promised. That's why we have read in, uh, in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verses 1. To everything there is time and season. And I want to give you an advantage of the season. Because we have summer, we have the spring, we have uh, the, the time of rain, uh, uh, we have seasons, and seasons are different. And uh, I want to, to show you what crisis is to you, is not what it is to another person. How you are seeing the crisis today, is not the way any other person is seeing that crisis. One, seasons guarantee change. Seasons because crisis is a season. Seasons guarantees change. They guarantee change. There are some changes that we have to make. There are some things that have to change. Seasons guarantee change. Number two, seasons gives hope. Everybody is hoping this season will end. Everybody is hoping this thing will add. My question is, don't use a permanent solution to solve a temporary problem. Don't use a permanent solution to solve a, pro a temporary problem because the problem that we have today is not, is not a, a permanent thing. This thing is a seasonal thing. Don't sell your house because of the season. Don't do a, a, a mistake to do something that you, you will ruin for a long time. Some are looking on how to, to sell their plots. Don't sell your plot because of the season. Hallelujah. Don't sell something that you value so much because of the season. A sow thought that the season of hunger will last strong. And he exchanged his birthright with a temporary problem. Jaya sikumoja haiwezi kukua. Rakini alibadilisana birthright kwa ajili ya jaa ya siku moja. Don't exchange your birthright. Don't exchange what you have earned for a long time because of a temporary problem. Corona will come and go, but we will remain. Mambo yare ambayo iko sahi 
ni ya muda mchache it is not permanent winter is not permanent summer is not permanent sprint is not permanent sahi kenya ni mchana america ni usiku nothing is permanent huku kukiwa usiku pigina kutakuwa mchana nothing is permanent i want to tell you whatever you are watching me from the situation that you are passing through the situation that your nation is passing through the situation that your church is passing through it is not permanent it is not permanent god is changing things god is moving things whatever you are passing through it is not permanent whatever you are doing chochote ambacho unapitia it is not permanent saimo biashara yamefungwa mengi wakapi vitu mingi zimefungwa watu wanashindwa pesa zitatoka wapi but let me tell you this this is just a season this is just a season it is going to pass it is going to pass it will not last long haitadumu ah ah raka ne karuhugo this is just a passing weed hata mama akipata mimba hakaagi na mimba kwa muda mrefu mimba inakujanga na baada ya miezi tisa anasa uchungu wote unaisha all those things dinaisha this thing is not permanent is a seasonal thing i am repeating don't sell your fridge is that you used all your salary to buy a fridge to buy a car to buy something else with a lot of money welcome daktari uh, to to buy don't use uh, don't sell whatever you use the whole of your salary some of us are wali bebaron dio wanunue kitu kama fridge dio wanunue kitu kama gari but because of this temporary problem you said it don't use a permanent solution to solve a temporary problem it it gonna go we, we, we life must continue we have to move on nothing is permanent seasons are always temporary seasons are the keys seasons are the key to life seasons are the key to life because every season every season gives us hope that there will come another season winter gives us hope of summer every season gives us hope when we are at daytime here we hope it will get night when it is at night here tunaamini ya kwamba kutakuwa mchana and we are sure of that we are sure kutakuwa mchana Ezekiel 34 go with me in the book of Ezekiel 34 verses 26 and 27 Ezekiel Ezekiel 34 la kota raba shete remayando robozaya Ezekiel Ezekiel chapter 34 Hallelujah Ezekiel 34 verses 26 and 27 listen to what the bible says and i will make them at the presses loud about my hear a blessing and i will cause the shower to come down in the season there shall be showers of blessings and the trees of the field shall yield here her fruits and the earth shall yield her increase and they shall save be they and they shall be safe in the land and they shall know that i am the lord when i have broken the bad of the yoke and delivered them out of the heart of those that serve them themselves of them i would like you to understand seasons assure us blessings seasons assure us blessings there is a surety of blessings once you know that 
this season is taking place. There is another season that is coming. So every season makes us alert. It is a, it is a, a wake-up call to every season. It is a wake-up call to every season. When you see there is drought, it is time to, to prepare your heart because you know the season of rain is coming. And I am believing God. This is the season for men of God to go back and pray. To go back to the word of God. Sasa hakuna washirika wana kuongeresa sana. Hakuna watu wana kuuliza mambo mingi sana. It is your time to go back to God. To hear God. It is your time to go back to where you met with God. What did God tell you? This is the time to, to, uh, to resettle again. Because it is the season of God. This is the time of God. Let me tell you this. We said crisis is an event. Which no one can control. But we can always... Control our minds. We cannot control the seasons, but we can control our minds. In short, I'm saying we can control our attitudes towards the season. We can control our attitude towards the season. Let me tell you this. People are seeing Corona. People are seeing tough season. But there are people who are making money in the season. Wise people see this opportunity. Crises are the source of development and growth. Crises are source of development and growth. You have to understand. Crises are the sources of development and growth. Sometimes... Growth does not come. It comes during crisis. Like now, our nation is buying machines. Our medical facilities has been improved. It is an opportunity to grow. Can you take our opportunity? You take that opportunity to grow. Take this opportunity to go back to the word of God. Take this opportunity to go back to school. Wakati uhauko kazi, can you take the advantage of it and go to school? Can you take this advantage and do something that you have been you have been delaying for a long time? Take an opportunity to reconcile with your family. Take an oppo this opportunity to reconcile, to listen to your children. Sometimes we are very busy. We are very far from our children. But sisi sai, tuko kwa nyumba, watoto wako kwa nyumba. Let us take advantage of this. Crisis creates opportunities. Crisis creates opportunities. Let me tell you this. When you are seeing crisis, I love Chinese and Japanese how they see. When whatever you are calling crisis, they call it opportunity. Corona came from China. But the other day our government sent an aeroplane to come with the machines from China. China has dealt with Corona and they have taken advantage of the market. Kuna rafiki yangu nilimwambia wewe ni fudi wa nguo enda utengeneze mask. Nikamwambia enda ukomboe watu enda utengeneze mask. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. Take advantage of this opportunity. Opportunity is seized when others fail. And let me tell you this. Opportunity missed uh, 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 by ignorance can never be recovered by faith. Any opportunity that you miss by ignorance, you never recover it by faith. You have an opportunity to pray. You have an opportunity to go back to the word of God. You have an opportunity to make business right now. Kuna watu saa hii wanatajirika na hii corona. Wanasema si corona ikaekae, ndio wauze mask. Kuna watu wanasema si kitu ikaekae. It is a business to them. Lakini wewe unaona tu shida. Chinese saa hii wana wana distribute machines za 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 za, 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 za kubreathe. 
kila mahali wana distribute mpaka Kenya tuna import mpaka mask imagine we are get them from another country they are seeing opportunity <coughs> we have to seize opportunities let us not wacha tusikae akili zetu zimerara let us take advantage of this opportunity let us take advantage of this opportunity there is an opportunity here there is an opportunity for you to come back to Jesus hallelujah you have been very busy in your businesses now there's nowhere else to go this is an opportunity to reconcile with your god this is an opportunity unasemanga kwa sababu ya kazi sina wakati wa kufunga this is an opportunity that you have been given okwe what you came this is the opportunity that god has given you it is a is a is an open opportunity God has given us let us seize this opportunity Chinese are making money with a problem so to them it is not a problem why can't we be like Isaac in the book of Genesis chapter 26 when there was drought Isaac took advantage akachimba mashimo wakati kuna jaa hakuna mahali kuna mvua akachiba mashimo bohos akarima na akaharvest na kavuna zaidi let us take advantage of the season let us not see crisis you cannot control what you cannot name name corona is a very simple thing let me tell you this i love jesus jesus knew how to name things remember the story of Lazarus he was told Lazarus is sick he said he's going to be well he was told Lazarus is very sick he said it is well and at last he was told Lazarus is dead he said Lazarus is not dead Lazarus is not dead Lazarus is asleep so he simplified things fear never controlled him the problem that we have we have been put fear in us everybody is fearing corona but nobody is taking advantage of the situation let's take advantage of this situation church let us take advantage of this to preach to nations right now i am taking advantage of corona and i'm preaching life in which i don't do every sunday i'm taking advantage of this so that you are you are taking advantage to watch this because most of most of the times you are not there you are busy somewhere else but i'm taking advantage of this also take advantage to run take advantage to do something because in the book of uh, uh, john chapter 16 if you read from verse that dream and 17 verse 1 jesus said i am telling you these things because um that uh, the trouble will come trouble will come she does it akuja crisis will come but what will you do when the crisis come let me tell you this when everybody was running away when everybody was running away i want you to get this when everybody was running away david took opportunity isao wana wa Israeli majeshi walikuwa wanaenda na vitu za walikuwa wanabeba silaha wakienda kupigana na Goliath lakini wanafika mahali pale badala ya kupigana na Goliath wanaenda kutusiwa waliwekwa uoga naogea na mtu hapa amewekwa uoga na hii corona amewekwa uoga na serikali amewekwa uoga na kila wakati na kila kitu everywhere there is fear i am talking to you now David was just he took advantage sorry for that he took advantage Daudi alichukua advantage David took advantage of the situation wakati wana Yesu wanatoroka mpaka Sauli alikuwa amesareda hana option alikuwa anatafuta mpaka amefika kiwango ya kupeana msichana wake Mwenye atapigana huyu mtu nitampea msichana wangu huyo mfalme amefika mwisho Our government imefika mwisho America imesareda Niliona prime minister wa Italy amesareda 
UK mpaka prime minister wao kwa hospitali they have surrendered Spain people are dying they have surrendered this is the time of David where are you David am i talking to David today am i talking to David today if you are David there reason to me David came ah but the people who knows they are God shall be strong and do exploits Daudi alijua mungu ya, mungu wake na akakuja akasema ni nani huyu anadhi haki majeshi wewe ya bwana wetu haleluya Daudi akakuja akaambia Goriatho wewe umekuja na silaha you have come with a, with weapons with the swords but i have come in the name of the lord i want people who are coming in the name of the lord and they are ready to overcome this goriath hallelujah people who see different daud had proclaimed victory before he victored alimwambia nitakata kichwa yako na nikakamkija na kadago kalimweka uoga let me tell you this one way to overcome the enemy is to be put fear in him And that is why corona is putting fear to us. That is why it is killing us. But you shall not die. You shall live to proclaim the name of the Lord. Hautakufa, utaishi ku proclaim your children will not die. Your family will not die. The Lord will preserve you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord will preserve you. The Lord will preserve your family. The Lord will preserve your destiny. No one in your family will die because of this disease in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and we declare this disease is at our feet and we declare this crisis must stop in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I speak divine breakthrough whoever you are in need on I know some has wengine waliachizwa wa kazi hata hawakupewa kitu waliambiwa waende nyumbani let me tell you this in the mountain of the Lord it shall be provided whatever you are in need of it, is, it shall be provided some um, are already in fear watafukiwa nyumba let me tell you this in the mountain of the Lord it shall be provided you know who you are you know who you who is your god let me tell you this faith is a substance of things hoped for an evidence of things not seen faith is a title deed it is a surety it is a confidence you have the conviction in the heart that the lord will provide and i am believing god that he will provide for you every crisis is a business every crisis is a business naona watu wakienda wakiuza mask kwa barabara kuna kampuni zimetengeneza pesa mingi sana wanauza sanitizers haya na wewe uko tu kwa nyumba hakuna kazi i like people who shift their mind very fast wewe ulifutu wa kazi umekaa kwa nyumba toka kwa nyumba ako ka mask kutengeneza food mwingine aliniambia anatumia 10 bob na kanauzwa 50 siku moja hata uza tu mask 10 that is 500 shillings na unarudi na watoto wanakula. Hello. Let me tell you this. There is an opportunity in this to make business. Hallelujah. There is an opportunity in this to pray. There is an opportunity in this to overcome Goriath. Take advantage of this opportunity. Take advantage of this crisis. Use this crisis to go to the next level. Use this crisis to learn. Use this crisis to advance the, the 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 habits our crisis changes our habits it changes our lifestyle crisis changes even our lifestyle for instance what we used to do is not what we are doing today kama kuna kuna wakati wa Kenya wameoga ni siku hizi people are taking shower watu wanaoga kila kila saa kila saa mtu ameoga watu wanaweka distance watu wanajifunika kwa, kwa, kwa the, the, we have to adapt we have to adapt and i told you in the beginning you have to accept once after accepting you are just oga mikono weka mask never violate the rules because of your faith never violate your, the law because of your faith why am i saying so because Some of these precautions are wisdom. Hallelujah. 
tukiambua tufanya kitu fulani you just do and also use your faith that is wisdom and i am declaring to you and to your destiny this thing has not come to kill you it will create an opportunity for you arise and shine for your light has come let me tell you this the men of god that i see in the bible they rose the time of crisis daniel it is the time that he was in den of lion shadrach meshach and abednego it is in the time that they were in the fire joseph he was in prison hallelujah david arose when when he was rejected even by his own brothers hallelujah this is your time to shine this is the time to take an opportunity and lies declare things and you be established and whatever you declare it shall it shall be established tell the lord to give you new ideas in this season to maneuver because you are, you will come out victorious you are not coming out by losing anything hakuna kitu hata kimoja utapoteza biblia inasema nikimaliza ya kwamba wakati mmoja Daudi akaenda kusaidia Wafilisti lakini wakati alikuwa anarudi in the book of first samuel chapter 30 akapata zikra imechomwa kila kitu imeisha lakini David inquired from the Lord I love that I love those people who inquire from the Lord can you inquire from the Lord ask the Lord what is the way out of this people wanted to stone him People wanted to kill David, they are king. Because they had no solution, they were desperate. The way Kenyans are desperate today. The way the world is desperate today. But David inquired from the Lord. Men of God, it is the time to inquire from God. It is time to go back to God. It's time to go back and listen, not only pray. It is time to listen to God. It is time to go and listen what God is telling us, what God wants with our nation, what God wants with our people. Hallelujah. When David inquired from the Lord, the Lord told him to pursue. And when he pursued, let me tell you this, hakuna kitu hata kimoja kilikuwa kimepotea. I declare in this season, you will not lose anything. David thought his two wives has been, has been taken away. But the Lord made a way to bring back whatever was lost. I speak the spirit of restoration. Lie now in the name of Jesus. Let the revival start in your house. Let the revival start in your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory during this time of crisis. Father, show, show us a way. Father, we have come to inquire from you so that you can give us understanding in all our gettings, Father. Give us understanding. Give us the spirit of understanding. Give us the spirit of wisdom so that we can know how to do things. Give us unto, unto us the knowledge of truth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name that we pray and give thanks. God bless you so much. You are blessed. And you shout a big amen wherever you are. May God bless you and take advantage of this season. And I have told you, opportunity missed by ignorance can never be recovered by faith. Take this opportunity. Do something. Don't stay watching Afro cinema from morning to evening. Think. Don't Doing nothing is not an option. Doing nothing is not an option. Do something. May God bless you. Have a blessed Sunday. I love you all. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom, man of God. Apostle Levis and others. Evarin. God bless you so much. You are blessed. Bishop, umebarikiwa sana. May God bless you. Daktari, umebarikiwa sana. Uh, Daktari, karibu sana. May God bless you. You are blessing to us. Continue watching. Kesho takuwa na wakati kama huu, may God bless you. Shalom, shalom.